But in the depths of space, the James Webb Space Telescope is living up to its hype. From inexplicably bright galaxies to the potential discovery of life on alien planets, and even challenging our understanding of the universe's beginnings, this powerful telescope has stunned the scientific community. It has provided us with incredible insights, including multiple structures that shouldn't exist. But that's where the problem lies. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. Suddenly, we realize that we may have to rewrite textbooks about the origins of the universe. To understand the dilemma, let's start by taking a quick look at the Big Bang, our best supported theory of the universe's origin. Originally, the Big Bang was a simple idea that grew from three interconnected facts and Einstein's general theory of relativity. According to relativity, a universe filled with any uniform distribution of matter and energy cannot remain stable in a static configuration. The fabric of space in that universe must either contract or expand. Observationally, there are spirals and ellipticals in the sky, and they lie well beyond the Milky Way. Their distances can be measured, and the light from these spirals and ellipticals appears to be shifted. More distant objects exhibit a greater redshift in direct proportion to their distance, which is consistent with an expanding universe. By combining these three facts, we can conclude that if the universe is expanding and becoming less dense today, it must have been smaller and denser in the past. The first person to synthesize this information was Georges Lemaitre in 1927. Others, including Howard Robertson in 1928, Edwin Hubble in 1929, and Arthur Walker a few years later, independently came to the same conclusion. Over time, many more consequences of the Big Bang were derived, including that the early state of the universe must have been hotter and denser. As the universe expands, it also cools. This understanding allowed us to predict that there would be a leftover bath of low-energy radiation with a blackbody spectrum in all directions, arising from when the universe cooled enough to form neutral atoms. At even earlier times, the universe had been hot and dense enough to initiate nuclear fusion reactions before any stars could form, leaving us with an initial abundance of elements other than hydrogen among the pristine sets. The universe begins with once neutral atoms formed, and the universe began gravitating to form structures. Stars, star clusters, clouds of gas, galaxies, galaxy clusters, and eventually the great cosmic web, filled with filaments and voids. All of these aspects of the Big Bang have been verified and validated, ruling out many alternatives that cannot reproduce these successes. Today, there are three additional ingredients that we have learned, tested, and verified as also present in the universe. Dark matter, which clumps and gravitates but doesn't collide with normal matter or photons. Dark energy, which behaves as a form of energy inherent to space itself. And cosmic inflation, which limits how far back into the past we can extrapolate the hot Big Bang before matter and radiation no longer dominated the energy contents of the universe. This picture enables us to do something remarkable. Inflation allows us to describe the initial conditions of the universe at the start of the hot Big Bang. How hot and dense it was, what the initial spectrum of density imperfections were, including that they were all adiabatic Gaussian random fluctuations, and what the magnitude of these fluctuations were on all cosmic scales. Our knowledge of the standard model, plus the additions of dark matter and dark energy, enables us to state what the various types of energies and abundances of all the different species of energy were at all cosmic times. From that starting point, our knowledge of the laws and interactions that govern the universe enables us to time evolve these initial conditions from the start of the hot Big Bang all the way up through the present day. We can make both theoretical predictions and perform numerical simulations that tell us what should arise and when in an expanding universe that begins with a hot Big Bang and the properties we've determined it ought to have. However, despite all the observational evidence supporting this picture, it may not be fully correct. Each time we observe the universe in a new way, we have to check that what we're seeing is still consistent with this model. With the recent addition of the James Webb Space Telescope to the arsenal of tools, Astronomers have found that Webb continues to fuel doubts about the Big Bang theory, as its early universe observations cannot be explained by current cosmological models. The James Webb Space Telescope has literally gone further than any similar instruments used by NASA before. As Matt Greenhouse, who has served on the James Webb Senior Staff as a project scientist, stated, The James Webb Space Telescope has given humanity its first high-def view of the infrared universe. Thanks to Webb's unprecedented capabilities, for the first time, 
we're beginning to discover and characterize galaxies found in these very early stages of our cosmic history. Prior to James Webb, we had one confirmed galaxy, GNZ 11, at an age of about 400 million years after the Big Bang, and only one other galaxy candidate, possibly at an age of around 330 million years after the Big Bang. No other stellar or galactic signals from such early epochs had ever been seen. Fast forward to the present day, more than two years after James Webb began science operations, and the story has changed dramatically. We now have over 100 galaxy candidates from James Webb that take us back to the first 300 million years of the universe. Several of them have already been confirmed to indeed be ultra-early and ultra-distant. GNZ 11 is now only the 11th most distant galaxy known. All 10 of the top 10 most distant objects were discovered and measured with James Webb. However, what's notable is that many of these early galaxies that James Webb is finding have peculiar, puzzling properties that appear difficult to reconcile with the theoretical picture that the universe has painted for us. For example, they appear to be very massive, very bright, very rich in heavy elements, very actively forming new stars, and very rich in gas. The fact that we see so many galaxies with these properties so early on is puzzling because we believe we understand how gas falls onto these early galaxies and how star formation feeds back and prevents future gas from falling in. There's a limit to how fast material can accrete onto these objects. And although certain physical conditions can lead to an object temporarily overcoming that limit, it shouldn't be sustainable over such long time scales. Therefore, when we look at these very early galaxies, we do get the impression that something is amiss. Webb's findings have caused a stir in the astronomical world, with some scientists suggesting that it has put our current view of galaxy evolution, or even our understanding of the universe, into doubt. There weren't just inexplicably large ancient galaxies on James Webb's list of discoveries, but whopping black holes too. The first, named 109, had a mass 10 million times the mass of our Sun and was found by the James Webb Telescope just 570 million years after the Big Bang making it the oldest black hole ever spotted at the time of its discovery in April 2023. We say at the time because James Webb didn't rest on its laurels. Earlier this year, the telescope broke its own record again for the most distant black hole ever seen to date. This black hole dwells in the ancient galaxy GNZ 11, which is 13.4 billion light years away, and is thus seen as it was just 400 million years after the Big Bang. The black hole itself is around 6 million times as massive as the Sun and seems to be feeding on matter from its surrounding galaxy five times more rapidly than the limit suggested as sustainable by current theories. According to scientists, this discovery could be a giant step forward for black hole science, especially in understanding how supermassive black holes reached masses equivalent to millions or billions of times that of the Sun in the very early epochs of the universe. For decades, how these gigantic space-time ruptures swelled to such staggering scales so early on has been an ongoing mystery. Astrophysicists are currently exploring options that include the black holes being formed from the rapid collapse of giant gas clouds, although they haven't ruled out that some may have been seeded by hypothesized primordial black holes, thought to be created moments after, and in some theories even before the universe began. In another stunning observation, the James Webb Space Telescope has found more than a thousand Milky Way lookalikes that shouldn't exist, swarming across the early universe. Shaped like warped vinyls and sporting delicate spiral arms, these Milky Way doppelgangers were found by James Webb more than 10 billion years into the universe's past, during a period when violent galactic mergers were thought to have made an abundance of such fragile galaxies impossible. But Webb's findings revealed that these galaxies are ten times more common in the early universe than astronomers previously thought. This strange discovery joins others made by James Webb that point to a deepening mystery around how large galaxies and, with them, the potential for life first bloomed in our universe. However, Webb didn't stop there. Webb's ultra-powerful instruments have also revealed glimpses of completely new, unexplainable objects. After being trained on the Orion Nebula, the Webb Telescope found 42 pairs of Jupiter-mass binary objects, or jumbos, Jupiter-sized planets drifting through space in pairs, some as far apart from each other as 390 times the distance between Earth and the Sun. The jumbos are too small to be stars, but as they bafflingly exist in pairs, they are unlikely to be rogue planets ejected from solar systems. Their discovery has alerted astronomers to a brand new formation mechanism for planets or even for failed stars. While James Webb glimpsed deep space like never before, it also caused a stir even closer to home in our own solar system. 
It revolutionized our view of the solar system's earliest days by showing scientists that Saturn's rings are far younger than they originally thought. Since the 1980s, the true age of Saturn's rings has been a matter of debate, with early estimates suggesting they were as old as 4.5 billion years. However, after recent data from Webb's infrared gaze showed that Saturn's rings are bombarded by micrometeoroids at a rate that should have ground them down into nothing after just a few hundred million years, scientists were forced to reconsider the previous estimates. But Webb's scrutiny of Saturn has provided more than just ring-related revelations. It also took the most detailed images of the solar system's other major ice giant, Uranus, in over 30 years. It uncovered its 11 dazzling rings and numerous moons, which range in size from just 10 kilometers to more than 1,500 kilometers across. Another major planetary web win came when the telescope captured the Martian atmosphere, shifting weather systems, and the precise composition of its atmosphere, measuring levels of carbon dioxide, water, and dust, while also capturing evidence of the existence of ice clouds in the planet's thin air. But James Webb isn't just helping us figure out how planets are now. It's also revealing how planets like Earth first formed. When astronomers aimed the telescope at the gas giant PDS-70b, which has been feeding on the gas and dust of its birth in its stellar nursery for 5.4 million years, they discovered the incredible amount of gas that the still-developing exoplanet continues to suck in to this day. This discovery suggests that the way exoplanets develop could be quite different from the way our solar system formed. The James Webb Space Telescope's ability to take detailed spectra of the atmosphere of distant planets and stars means that its observations aren't just important for our understanding of planets in general, but for figuring out whether we're alone in the universe. Not only has Webb detected key chemicals in the atmospheres of distant worlds, but it's even found evidence of potential signs of life. One of Webb's major discoveries in this area came when it captured the stunning presence of carbon-bearing molecules and methane in the atmosphere of the distant exoplanet K2-18b, a mini-Neptune some 120 light-years away from Earth. This discovery led scientists to speculate that the planet's habitable zone, an area where liquid water could exist, could contain more planets, and it even raised the tantalizing possibility that the planet's atmosphere might contain the gas dimethyl sulfide which is only produced by life on Earth. While Webb's search for signs of life elsewhere in the universe is just beginning, the telescope has already collected evidence of chemical markers in the atmospheres of several planets that could be essential to finding life, including carbon dioxide, methane, and even water vapor. It even detected the specific wavelengths of light given off by the potential building blocks of life within the dark clouds of interstellar space hinting that the chemical components necessary to create life could be found everywhere. Webb's ability to look so far back in time has made it an essential tool for understanding the origins of our universe. However, it has also given us unprecedented insight into the universe's ultimate fate. The telescope has even been able to peer into the cataclysmic death throes of stars that, like our sun, will one day explode in spectacular supernovae and collapse into neutron stars or even black holes. It may have found some of the very first stars ever formed in the universe, allowing scientists to reconstruct how elements heavier than hydrogen and helium were formed. One of the most incredible discoveries Webb has made so far is the existence of the parent stability supernovae, extremely rare explosions caused by massive stars collapsing and exploding in one go. These cataclysmic events mark the explosive deaths of the first generation of stars that formed in the universe, and by observing the chemical fingerprints of such events, Scientists can piece together how the universe's heaviest elements were formed and spread through space. But as inspiring as Webb's findings have been, they are also reminders of the universe's inevitable fate. Webb's observation of the final moments of dying stars and their explosive deaths offers a glimpse into the eventual fate of our own sun and the stars that populate our galaxy. They illustrate the cycle of birth, life, and death that governs the cosmos and remind us that everything in the universe from the smallest particles to the largest galaxies, is part of a constantly evolving story that will one day come to an end. In the quest to understand our universe, the James Webb Space Telescope has delivered on its promise to revolutionize our knowledge of space by pushing the boundaries of what we know and challenging our understanding of the cosmos. Webb has not only reshaped our view of the universe's past and present, but has also provided us with the tools to answer the most profound questions about our place in the universe and what our future may hold. From the Big Bang to the potential discovery of life on other planets, 
the James Webb Space Telescope is forcing us to rethink everything we thought we knew. It's not just rewriting textbooks. It's challenging the very foundation of our understanding of the universe. As we continue to explore the cosmos through Webb's eyes, we can expect even more discoveries that will deepen our understanding of the universe and our place within it.